It had plagued the city for some 25 years. But when I came in as the African-American mayor, but the people and the business community said to me, Mayor, you must fix it, and you must fix it now. They didn't say that to anybody else. But when I came in, the paper, my paper said, fix it now. The business leadership said, fix it now. Um, and I will say, and brought in all of the union groups and said, we need to address it. These are the things that the three things that I need. And now you tell me uh, how can you work with your memberships to get it there. The bottom line is, at the end of the day, we end up putting in a permanent fix that was approved by a Republican legislature, approved by our voters, and we got it fixed. And now an unfunded pension liability that was in way up in the billions uh, now is below 2.2 billion. I came into office, I faced a $160 million budgetary shortfall. But since then, we have turned that around and now the city's financial position is stronger than ever before. We faced homelessness. But in the last, since 2012, and even going to my administration, we have reduced homelessness by over 65%. There are less than 3,000 people who are homeless on the streets in the city of Houston. They don't give African-American mayors a long time to fix the problem. Even African-Americans will say to you, Mayor, you need to fix. Where are you and fix it right now? We don't have a long runway. They may give it to somebody else that doesn't look like us. But when we step in as mayor, people want the grocery stores yesterday. They want an elimination of energy deserts, food deserts yesterday. At least under this administration, we have provided more business opportunities for businesses of color in the entire history of the city of Houston. 